Hello folks, and I detect and back again with another video, metal detecting video. Out yesterday for a few hours and this is what came up. First of all, a bullet. It's not only the casing now, it's a full bullet. I thought it was just the casing. But it's got a hollow point, a pretty lethal bullet, and there's four rings on it, as you can see there. So I'm not up on bullets, so if anyone knows much about it, anything about it, give me a shout in the comments. It says super on the detonator side of it. I can't see any other maker's name or anything like that on it. Next up, a little plate with a lot of holes in it. Charming. <laughs> but I've, I've no idea what it is. And when I was filling in the hole, I found the other piece. It's kind of identical to the other one, only the other, the first part of it is broken in half. I was thinking maybe a lock mechanism, but there's a lot of holes and stuff in it. I don't really think it is. So again, if you know, give me a shout. I'd like to know what that is. Next up, a little piece of lead in the shape of a cone. There seems to be like little metal rods molded into it. You'll see it at the end when I do the uh, I'm going to show all the stuff at the end. Uh, this one here, a little piece of lead, the shape of a heart. Not much to write home about. Next up, is this little gem. Yep, a coin. It's a George III uh, Irish Bank token. 1805, I think it is. I have found a few of these before now. That's the 10 pence one. I think there's a 5 pence one. Silver. So happy with that one. That would be find of the day. Definitely find of the day in pretty good condition. So, next up. Another coin, but a blankety blank. Blankety blank on both sides. Well, actually, I think I think you can see the bust, a very faint uh, outline of the bust. Next up, a little four holer, and it seems to be paint on it. Now look at that beastie in there. That's a white grub. We would have called them white grubs when we were doing a bit of fishing when we were kids. Great, great bait for uh, trout. But I left that boy alone. I just set the, the uh, claw back down on the on top very gently he's hibernating there for the winter uh, a copper ring 
almost a little bit corroded out at the side of it. Next up, Yep, another coin, but a blankety blank again. Well, that's it. This is a wee round up here. That's the two plates. I think it's copper with the um, with the holes, and that's the other piece. They're two identical pieces of plate, except one's broke. That's the little uh, bank token, happy with that one. That's the second time out in a trot I've got silver. So I hope they keep coming. Nice to get a bit of silver. That's a piece of lead with the metal rods running through it. No idea what that is. Then we have the copper ring. Oh, I didn't. I did film that, but I don't know what I done with the clip. That small buckle. And then a blankety blank halfpenny. I think that is. And I think that's a penny. You can see the bus slightly, the outline of it there. Looking to the right. Then that's a little heart shaped piece of lead. And then the bullet. So the bullet would probably be the second best find. So could we could we battle detect and hunt yesterday? And it's looking good today again, but I have a few things to do. I'm only allowed out once a week. I'm not allowed out anymore. <laughs> right, well that's it folks. Don't forget Rob's directories. If you want your channel listed for free, just go on to www.robsdirectories.com and uh, even if you're not listening here, your channel go on and have a look at the channels there's loads of great channels in there and i've also got a gold fans page where you can add your gold fans videos uh, go and have a look at that as well some brilliant fans on video well that's it folks i've waffled on enough <laughs> so i'll see you in the next one and happy hunting good luck on your next time out bye